AAA rocks! AIAA is the world's forum for aerospace leadership. We're out here at Cone Lake, just north of California City, California. Um, this is out in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Uh, it's hot, it's windy, uh, but it's a wonderful place to shoot rockets off because we're really far away and no one really cares what we do out here. <laughs> the group that we're working with is the Reaction Research Society. Um, I'm Dave Crisali and um, I, uh, as far as this place is concerned, I'm the president of the Reaction Research Society. It's an amateur rocket group that's been around since 1943. In fact, it's the oldest continuous, uh, continuously operating amateur rocket group uh, in the world. Uh, today, it's uh, uh, eight teams from the AIAA, the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, uh, that have uh, put together vehicles that, are, it's the same vehicle, different engines, and they're competing to predict peak altitude, impact point, so a lot of the physical characteristics of how the vehicle would fly uh, comes into play in their scoring. Well, all of the people that are on the, te or that were on the teams are members of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Um, they are military, student, professional engineers, uh, the, whole, the whole gambit. I really wanted to do this, so I got a team together um, through people, uh, some people from my company, some elsewhere in ALAA. And, uh, you know, we, we got some funding and we, uh, you know, formed a team and, you know, got the rocket kit and, uh, you know, started building, so. We were able to buy the kits for them, deliver the kits to each of the teams, and then from there, they had to develop simulations, they had to develop a budget, uh, team charter, all of, the, all of the engineering documentation behind their rockets, um, build them up, bring them out to the field, and launch them today, and hopefully build some good engineering experience. Um, it's been about a year in planning, and um, today's the day to shoot. We were all really interested in building rockets, and we were like, hey, building rockets for free? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so we all got together. We met, we, none of us knew each other beforehand, and we met at Starbucks. And right, and I, I walked up really confused, and Sylvie goes, are you here for a rocket? <laughs> yeah. <So> yeah. <laughs> this is a real hands-on, method for learning a lot of hard practical engineering and uh, that that is exciting and it, it engenders a lot of enthusiasm for more learning and, and for doing bigger and better projects. pushing the button uh, so that he doesn't blow up their rocket. And so what we'll do is when we launch this, we're going to keep this here underneath your launch pad. And if you don't blow up the rocket, you get to keep the dollar. All right? I actually haven't built model rockets before, so this is kind of a huge step up, like upgrade to uh, to model rocketry. Um, and it's it's kind of one of those things you do. It's like a hands-on project that you never really got to do as a kid. So at least I never got to do as a kid. So it's, it's great to come out here to this range and really work with some of the experts who have launched rockets time and time again. And you know they they even helped us kind of load our fuel this morning and get it in and get it ready to go. And for those of us who have never done this before, that was awesome. Personally, I've, I've never built this kind of rocket, so it was a 
learning experience. It was great to put it together. Plus, uh, we got to know a little bit about bad planning and good planning and stuff like that, management. None of us on the team have ever launched a rocket of this scale before. Uh, the most I've ever done was, you know, three-foot Estes rockets. No one else really had any experience. They, they wanted to learn, so we all kind of, um, you know, came together and looked at the kit and figured out what, how we wanted to modify it and use what we learned from college and learned from the industry um, to apply it to our design. Oh, I love it. I think um, application is the, the biggest, you know, is, is, the, is the best way to uh, really appreciate the field. It's a refreshing change to actually do real engineering, I guess, or more physical engineering. Um, even though you, you're quote-unquote a rocket scientist from getting your undergraduate degree, I think the more rockets you build, the more hands-on activities you do, the more you learn. That's, I, I think that, that a lot of the, the kids that have come out here today to fly rockets, uh, as I said, have not had that opportunity before, and I haven't spoken to anyone yet who isn't enthusiastic about what's happened here today, uh, and, and really enthused about uh, things that they thought were, were going to bring the project to a standstill that at the last second got, got saved because you know, somebody came up with some clever idea to fix this or convert that or borrow this piece of uh, wreckage from another vehicle and, and put it together.